Hi, I'm Richard Blaze, and this is Cooking with Team USA. Olympic free skier Gus Kenworthy and I are showing off some culinary tricks in the Team USA kitchen with a delicious open-faced chicken sandwich. Gus, welcome to the Team USA kitchen. Thanks for having me. Honored to have you here. So for people at home, can you explain the sport of free skiing? Yeah, so free skiing, there's multiple disciplines. There's half pipe, slope style, and big air. There's no speed component. You start at the top and kind of make up a run as you get to the bottom, and you're just judged on the tricks that you do and how well you perform them. Okay, so you've done pretty good. Um, obviously well enough to win silver medal at Sochi, which is incredible. Yes. And did you did you bring your medal? Yeah, I have it. I just carry it around everywhere. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, so, that, that's, that's bling right there. Silver medal at Sochi. All right, so Gus, some of the things that you're judged on in free skiing are the height of your jumps, the degree of difficulty on your tricks. Yeah, it's, it's based on amplitude, which is like height, um, technical difficulty, style execution, and overall impression. I was wondering if you would be game for a little ch cooking challenge that involved some of those metrics we just discussed. Totally. All right, so we're gonna make an open-faced chicken sandwich with a chipotle yogurt, a fresh slaw with cabbage and carrots, um, and we're gonna plate it all on a waffle, and we're gonna have some other ingredients that we can use to sort of amp up our amplitude. Maybe, can you do that? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Sounds great. So the first thing we're gonna do is grill our chicken. I've already marinated it in some olive oil, Tabasco, some thyme and garlic, so it's gonna have a little spice to it. We're gonna make our chipotle yogurt. Uh, so Gus, you can throw in that uh, Greek yogurt, some chipotle and adobo, a good amount of that in there. Let's mix that chipotle in there. We got some lime juice, all fresh flavors, all incredibly dynamic. Just, just like, to be honest, like you, right? Like you. Is that, like, look, is this happening? Is this happening? Like, are we, are we connecting? I think we're connecting right now. This is amazing. Next up, we're gonna make this fresh slaw. We're just gonna dump in all of these ingredients. We got carrots, red cabbage, regular green cabbage, some cilantro. We'll do two limes, I think. Um, a little bit of olive oil in here, that's gonna make it I'm gonna salt nice and pepper and it. Yeah, let's salt and pepper it. I have our chicken breast off the grill. This chicken looks pretty freaking does it, good. Does it look good? Yeah. Nice. All right, let's go. We're All gonna right. get into it. Let's do it. I just want you to know that I'm gonna win this. So you're a smack talker, too. I'm gonna go chicken next. I'm making mine like a log house. Oh, pickles. Gotta have pickles. Right? I'm almost done. Three, two, one. There it is. Plates moving forward. Too close to call. No way, oh, I think I got friends. it. You, oh, you're just, you think you got it. Yeah, you dude, know? I got the height. I used my metal as a booster plate. I literally served it on a silver platter. But did you beat me in flavor? Mine's delicious. Mine too. I think the Delicious. silver kind of lended to the overall flavor profile. Do you think? I'm gonna have to jump. I'm gonna have to jump in and figure right, it out. It tastes like victory. Help yourself. Yeah. Let's see. The silver tastes like. A... <laughs> I hate to say it. I think. I think you're right. Yeah. I, th I think. He, I think you <laughs> took the challenge. Gus Kenworthy just beat me in height, precision, style points, and. Not only did the silver medal give you more height, but it aided and flavored, added a certain minerality to this dish. Hey, listen, you want to try your hand at this recipe? You can find this one and more at teamusa.org slash cooking.